What's up guys, the Foxy Gamer here. Finally I could get one of the Digimons that I've been waiting to get ever since I heard of Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. That Digimon is the Jogris Mastimon. You guys can see that I have one of the halves ready here, Angel Woman. We all know that little Gatmon digivolves into Angel Woman. It's also possible to get her from Sun Flormon and Frigimon. If we take a look at Mastimon's requirements, like a lot of the special Digimon in this game, there's just a whole lot. Mastimon is a DNA digivolution from both Angel Woman and Lady Devimon. Just to start off, you gotta get both of those ready. Apart from those two, you do have to have gone through the special event in the game that happens in Chapter 15. That's pretty late in the game, so until then, it's not possible to get Mastimon. Now that I have Angel Woman and Lady Devimon ready, let's fuse them together. And just for a little fun, let's also check out the cutscene from the game. What do you guys think? That is definitely better than the standard Digivolution scene. It sucks that you could only see it one time in game. You could always restart the game I guess, but seems like a lot of trouble just for one scene. Anyway, we now have this amazing Digimon Mastimon. She's a vaccine neutral mega Digimon. Mastimon is one of the few new Digimon that got introduced last year. She made her debut in this game. Mastimon's design is of this futuristic tech, light and dark angel Digimon. She's pretty much a counterpart to the Lucimon fall-down mode. If we take a look at Mastimon's base stats, and just removing the bonus from the attack, she really doesn't lean one way or another in terms of physical or magic attacker. Mastimon's special move is called the Chaos Degregation. It reduces the HP of all enemies by 25%. Ouch. I do believe this is 25% of the remaining HP, so Mastimon can't kill anyone with this. For Mastimon's support skill, we have the Parallel World Tactician. It increases both light and skill moves by 10%. It also increases HP recovery effect by 10% too. Let's go ahead and end this by checking out Mastimon's special move. Yeah! Like I mentioned, Masimon is actually not able to kill someone with her special move. At least as a bonus, we got to see Masimon's normal attack. It looks like Masimon has some type of light blade. So then, let me know what you guys think of this DNA Jorgos Digivolution Masimon. Is anyone else a huge fan of her design? I definitely hope we see Masimon in a future anime. Leave your impressions on Masimon down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later.